soon the flaming crows be me! Come back here, you little mongrel! Flaming mongrel! Then don't answer me back, boy! Anyone for second? No, just a minute, Ailes. Where the hell do you think you're going? Hive! No, you're not. You're not going home via his place. I can tell you that. You'll stay here with me until I'm good and ready no, to leave. Go. No, buts! All right, that's it. I've had it. Enough! i put up with your flaming bacon and eggs. i put up with your flaming vacuum cleaner. I will not have you treating me like a child. Is that clear? Now, get out! If you're not out of here in ten seconds, I'll flaming will throw you out. Get out of the way! Hey! You flaming... Where are you going? I'm going for a walk, woman. Never heard of progress? Oh, give me a break. I don't need one of your flaming lectures. Stone the crows. I mean, you couldn't read instructions that they were written a mile high in flaming whiskey bottles, and that's saying something. Well, isn't that flaming typical, eh? Of all the low mongrel acts that'd have to just about take the cake. You don't know me from a cash order, and you're about to tell the whole flaming world that I'm a narrow minded redneck. You are. Now, you listen to me, you little piece of carpet fluff. You couldn't lie straight in bed. And I tell you what, if you think you can wiggle your way out of this one, you better think again, boy. I hope you realise you owe me a new pair of strides. Oh, what are you on about? Hot coffee, that's what I'm on about. I'll never get that flaming stain out. Yeah, well, go and talk to Shane. It's got nothing to do with me. The hell it's got nothing to do with you. You were the I one who knocked the coffee out of my hand. Don't get smart with me, young lady. You're going to be supervised every minute of your life from now on. <laughs> I don't care what's fair, now get to your room! I'd rather lose a few, Bob, for the satisfaction of ramming these socks down your throat and watching you choke on them. Oh, yeah, that'd be right. That's all my flaming fault, isn't it? I just cannot get through to you that our boy is in hospital because of the, the, the laziness and the incompetence of that flaming council. And I am going to expose them for the no-hoping layabouts they are. Now, most people would think that's a perfectly reasonable thing to do. But, oh, no, nah, not so else. A shrink? You're flaming kidding, aren't you? What are you going to do, try and prove you're loopy or something? I do not want to get into this No, no, I bet you're flaming don't. be very embarrassing, <laughs> wouldn't it, eh? I mean, as if there's not enough flaming madness in the world without you trying to invent some more. Just join the herd and go along with the rest of the flaming idiot sheep and whinge about how tough you've got it. Oh. Well, I've got news for you, you little smart aleck. You wouldn't know the meaning of the word tough. Um, stop it. And while you're out there waving your flaming banners around and, and um, whinging about how tough you've got it, don't you give a second thought to the people who died to protect your right to do it, will you? Yes, you go and save the whole flaming world single-handed, won't you, you long-haired, greeny, left-wing yahoo? You get back here! I'm not prejudiced! Yeah, the boy is a criminal. He made one mistake, Don, one! Nobody was injured and there wasn't any damage to property. Yes, and what about next time? There won't be a next time! No. Face facts! The boy is on a downhill slide! And so will you be if you don't apologise to him! Well, so much for giving you another chance. A man tries to do the right thing and all you do is hurl it back in his face. I've had about enough of your lip, now it's my turn. The way I feel right now, I've got a damn good mind to tell you to get out there, get your things and get out! Um, is that you, Mr Stewart? Well, who the hell else do you think it'd be? Get in here, you pair of flaming galahs! You're not gonna like this, Alf, but I'm at more eggs. <laughs> You can rant and rave all you like, but she's in no fit condition to be left on her own. I... Al, she is in a very bad way. Somebody's got to look up. I want you to get in the blower right now and tell her you've changed your mind. Oh, she... Don't shush me, Al. I didn't hear any complaining. And what the hell would you know about it, you cheap lush? Flaming hell, I tell you what, if she wasn't a shooter, I would have decked her. Damn Yankees. Wouldn't even give me a straight answer. Holy mother of... Ah, uh, watch it. That's enough out of you. I don't need your flaming lip as well. All because you sent him outside to play because you couldn't be flaming bothered. Oh, Alf, please. No, 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 Alf. So I've had a gut full of this. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Oh, it's absolutely out of the question. Okay, we can't okay. possibly take advantage. All right, Alf. So I'm agreeing with you. There's no need to flog a dead horse. I tell you what, boy, when this is over, you're going to wish you'd never been born. And exactly the same goes for that imbecilic mate of yours. And I know what young blokes like you are after, and if you get after it with my daughter, I'm telling you, I'll skin you alive. That's between me and Ruth. Not while I'm around it. What's the matter with you? Maybe you're blind All or right, something. All right, Alf, there is no need to shout. Oh, I'll get the flaming things myself for you. Stop! I told you why I bought it, Alf. It was a flaming bargain. You've just been to a camp where you're supposed to have learnt not to think like that. All right, all right. I bought the flaming thing before I went to the camp. Look at this shirt, would you? It's absolutely ruined. I mean, what the hell did you think you were doing letting those two imbeciles alone on their own, eh? What does not hitting them make me? Some sort of homicidal maniac, does it? I don't know what it makes you, Alf, but I'm sure as hell gonna keep an eye on you from now on because I don't want to wind up with a knife between the shoulder blades. Sorry, I'm late. Yeah, so you ought to be. Give me one good reason why I shouldn't knock your block off. You cost me a lot of money today, that's the point. Alf, for the love. I could have had our future all parceled up. We could have been rolling in it. But you went and blew it with your stupid women's lid claptrap. 
Alf, let him play. Over my dead body. Now you listen to me and you listen real good. I say what happens outside my store and you're not it. <coughs> I'll give you two minutes to get out of here. If you're not gone by then, you'll get more trouble than you bargained for. There's the metal bracket. Dogans! Ghost of you can't be more careful. I'll fly my jobs off. Don't blame them, crows. Oh, I paid for a solid cedar one. I tell you what. Vinny's the one who's going to be needing this flaming coffin. When I get my hands on him, I'll wring his flaming neck. And what about Donald Fisher, eh? When's he going to be reinstated? Ladies and gentlemen, the subject of Donald Fisher is closed. Oh, I am quite gentlemen, to the subject of Donald Fisher has just been reopened. Huh. No wonder you're such a lousy wife. You never ever wanted to be one in the first place. I think we should think long and hard about whether or not it's worth your while staying one. Well, if I'm creating a disturbance, I, I better make it a good one, eh? I mean, we wouldn't want your little party wrecked by some ordinary disturbance, would we? Hey, And you're not going to have broken the television set, do you? Huh. There you go, Morag. That's what I call a disturbance. Right, that's it. Come on. No, no, no. Oh, no. Come on, Don. Just go. No. Um, all right, all right. We'll, we'll talk in the morning. Yeah, you can talk to whoever you like. Just go. Go now. Yes. Get out. And you get out of here, too. I've had a gut full of you as well.